I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology and this is an exclusive Patreon only membership videos where you will get some interesting takes on Vedic astrology, some interesting learning on Vedic astrology which I can usually do not will not upload on general YouTube platform. So that will help me grow as a channel and that will help me take care of the cost of production of this YouTube channel and the other two channels that I have, Punis Astrology Hindi and Lifetime Soul. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic Astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one stop astro channel and once again uh, we are with another transit video. Jupiter has uh, made its move uh, back into the sign of Capricorn, therefore it goes back into the zodiac sign of debilitation from Aquarius zodiac sign. The moment it enters Capricorn, it uh, goes into the Dhanishta nakshatra in Capricorn and uh, it joins Shani, the Saturn, which is also running retrograde in Shravana nakshatra. Now notice the degree of difference, it is approximately 16 to 17 degree of gap. So that means the moment Jupiter enters, uh, Jupiter will be on one end, whereas Saturn is approximately around middle of Capricorn. So Jupiter the moment it enters uh, the zodiac sign of Capricorn will definitely start aspecting Rahu and will start aspecting Mars and Mercury and notice the degree of Mercury Mercury is at 24 degrees so Jupiter aspect on Mercury is very very strong now Mercury from with respect to Capricorn zodiac sign rules 6th house and 9th house so this Jupiter will actually install the feeling of Kartavya that means duty and responsibility and dharma so this jupiter the moment it enters it will make you feel what is your true kartavya true responsibility and your true dharma also notice one more fact that when jupiter is in capricorn uh, it is aspecting its exalted sign of cancer now this is something also that you have to notice uh, cancer zodiac sign is getting the very positive vibration of jupiter and Cancer being the fourth house or the Sukhasthan, you will feel very happy and content when you will fulfill your responsibility, your duty towards your family, relatives, society and everybody around you. You as a human, you have to find out what does your sixth house and what does your tenth house has to say in your own natal chart and if you fulfill that, it is going to be the best way you can harness this transit. We are in this video talking about a Jupiter retrogression but only till Saturn is retrograde so this video is only for uh, the duration up to 11th of October I will make another video when Jupiter continues to be retrograde but Saturn is direct uh, which is beyond 11th of October so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so that you get to know much more about those videos and you get notification and you can also follow me on my telegram channel so in case you don't get notification I upload all my videos links and it's like one place where all the links of all the platforms comes into place so you can you can access different platforms through telegram also when we, uh, jupiter is in the sign of capricorn uh, sun is eighth from jupiter which is almost about to get out of leo and sun is also going into the battlefield so i see a lot of action here things thing is that uh, when sun also goes into the sign of Virgo. Virgo is again a zodiac sign of war, battlefield, dispute and sun going into Virgo means sun is waging a war. Sun is going to fulfill his duty. The only thing is that uh, the ego expansion should not be there. A retrograde Jupiter can sometimes takes a route of defamation because in Dhanishta Nakshatra if a retrograde Jupiter is there that means the more you try to uh, you know the more you try to shout the less valuable you will be. So that is also one angle where you have to be very, very careful. Apart from that, if you observe the Navamsha of Jupiter, the Navamsha of Jupiter is, uh, is a Virgo zodiac sign. Now that is something crucial because let me uh, take you to the divisional chart. Now I think you will be able to see. Now if you see the Navamsha of Jupiter is a Virgo. That means at the beginning of the Jupiter transit. And if Navamsha of Jupiter is Virgo, that means Jupiter is drawing power from Mars and Mercury. And soon when Sun enters Virgo, Sun, Mars and Mercury 
will be the base of jupiterian existence this is powerful this is simply too strong and remember jupiter will only go reverse in the navamsha because jupiter is retrograde in the natal chart so this position of jupiter actually gives strength to the king and it gives strength to your mind and soul and this is a very power packed i will say 20 days till saturn is retrograde now what will happen after 11th right now the direction of jupiter and saturn is towards sagittarius zodiac sign point number 1 the day when jupiter makes its move into the sign of capricorn moon was in purva shadha nakshatra now purva shadha nakshatra is a very positive nakshatra for the moon but it is also the nakshatra where uh, you will have to dissolve uh, your ego and you will have to fight for the dharma it's like mahabharat it's like the place of bhagavad gita so reading bhagavad gita having the response uh, awareness is going to be the key for success for almost everybody in this uh, jupiterian transit in this time and uh, because jupiter is also jiva karaka and saturn is also something that is responsible for age and longevity we will definitely get get some uh, interesting uh, news about the time in which we we'll live in so a lot of secrets will get revealed with bit uh, while jupiter is in the sign of capricorn also one factor you will have to observe the fight between jupiter and rahu this is the mutual aspect few take rahu aspect few don't but i take it so i will say that rahu aspects jupiter and jupiter aspects rahu so this is again a mutual fight between gyan and agyan so praying to ma mah uh, praying to ma mah saraswati is going to be the key to you know fight all the negativity because if you observe this is the what happens in the earth sign in the earth sign all the malefics are there saturn is there rahu is there mars is there a retrograde jupiter uh, debilitated retrograde jupiter sometimes a lot of people call them malefic sometimes they say that they behave like exalted but remember a planet which is debilitated and retrograde might give the end result as the exalted planet but it will actually behave as hyperactive debilitated planet the end result will be definitely just like what an exalted planet would have given you so that means it is working in your favor but the way it works is it pushes you so hard it frustrates you so much that you actually come out victorious that's its way that's the planetary way of working now also see the position of jupiter with respect to its natural zodiac sign first for this with respect to sagittarius it is second which is good but for all sagittarius moon sign in the lagna chart people lagna people i will say that you will have to be very very cautious about the food that you eat and what you speak and commit and for with respect to pisces jupiter is 11 so this position is actually very good with respect to the two zodiac sign because 11th and 2nd is known as dhan bhav position so this is very good to increase wealth now you also observe that jupiter position with respect to the two zodiac sign is positive and the day when jupiter enters capricorn moon is also in the zodiac sign of jupiter which tells a lot about the role of jupiter in our life and the jupiter energy so praying to ma maha saraswati as i said earlier is going to be really beneficial for you apart from that you also observe the role of mars mars has just entered the sign of virgo few days back now mars do aspect the one sign of jupiter so you will be like uh, what is the what is the point of mars see ma how does mars uh, play a role first of all dhanisht is a nakshatra of mars capricorn is a zodiac sign where mars gets exalted mars aspects one one zodiac sign of jupiter which is a uh, sagittarius zodiac and then mars aspects the other zodiac sign which is pisces and mars with its eighth aspect will aspect the sign of aries uh the mars will have the eighth aspect on uh, aries that means it will crush lot of desire within you and that's the true wisdom that you will get so maybe it's a higher war it's a war to survive or fight for a higher purpose that is actually the fire for the dharma the war for the right purpose and this is an actual placement as if it is a mahabharat going on right now mercury and mars is like the gyan and the uh, the 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 consciousness going into the uh, you know like internal war 
and Jupiter and Saturn is retrograde. That means it is trying to make you make you look inward, make you look beyond the obvious, and make you look within. On the other hand, Mars having a direct association with Jupiter is actually giving the art of war. So it is definitely a time when you can fight all the odds, and you will also see that you will come out victorious, as long as you apply your brain and intellect and doesn't. Uh, get uh, swayed by the emotions because it is the emotion that can be troublesome because the motion of jupiter in capricorn begins with moon in purvashada purvashada is a nakshatra that is fanning to the fire and is a nakshatra ruled by apa it's a water nakshatra but what is this nakshatra actually doing this nakshatra actually wants you to flow in the path of dharma this nakshatra wants you to flow and fight for the right fight for your principles so this is the time when you when you will redefine what you stand for this is the time when you will be very rigid towards your own principles and you will fight for the right and you will stand and instead of going down to the negative you will stand for the positive and this is exactly what this unique jupiter transit feels like this doesn't feel like a debilitated jupiter because it is not on one hand it is retrograde so the end result will be as if it is the end result of either sagittarius or cancer whichever school of thought you believe in and on the other hand there is a niche bhang because jupiter is with the same house lord shani which is in the house of capricorn so there is definitely a lot of positivity positivity going on with respect to jupiter when sun will go in the sign of virgo it will also come under the aspect of jupiter therefore jupiter will aspect the eighth lord so definitely it means that through practicality and execution of karma the uncertainties of life will be will be overcome and the past life positive karma will be helpful into the recovery of the current life prarabdha karma so this will also break the prarabdha uh, this jupiter is also good for finances uh, rearranging your finances uh, taking care of your insurances taking care of your taxes so that is on one hand it is a good time this is also the finally a good time for capricorn because for capricorn uh i was also observing that things were not right from from a very long time but now things are going to be good because mars is giving the necessary energy to charge and take control of your life once again and this is a very good time for scorpio ascendant people also uh on one hand uh the ascendant or the moon sign of capricorn taurus and virgo is directly into this battle uh but the fire zodiac sign which are aries which are which are leo and sagittarius are indirectly associated with it one who are not directly or indirectly associated is the air zodiac sign of gemini aquarius and libra because they are balanced by venus presence in the sign of libra for some time uh but what i will say is that because these zodiac sign doesn't have a direct association with uh a uh, i will say earth zodiac sign but these do install life because with respect to capricorn this is money and family responsibility and karma so it's more like finances so it will actually allow the finances to flow so you can pray to mahalakshmi uh, shri suktam or lakshmi gayatri mantra any any lakshmi puja to allow the finances to flow and this will take you out from the clutches of the pain and in case in case you are really suffering from a problem from a very long time you can chant gajendra moksha by chanting gajendra moksha during this time with martian influence and the sun influence the prarabdha will break and possibly it will help you come out from the deep negative situation that you are in right now so that was a quick analysis for jupiter retrogression in the sign of capricorn i will come back with another video on saturn direct and jupiter retrogression during saturn direct in a small small parts i am not going to upload a very big video but i will upload in small segments over a period of time so you get periodic updates on the planetary movement so so thank you for watching and if you're new to the channel subscribe and we'll meet in the next video till then namaste <music>